<sighs> All right. Now, what are you up to? Theodora's claim on the Moosel. Who the hell's claim are you pushing? Good. And next of all, what makes you think you'll keep that? I will fucking revoke that shit, yo. Also, hey, congratulations on your uh, kingdom. However short-lived it will be. Silly Armenia. But yeah, vice royalties. Interesting concept. 70%? Come on. Fall. Everything. Uh, we can call in allies. It's considering how often they call us in. Hang on. Hey, they are actually of our, va our uh, lineage now, aren't they? Hey. There we go. Works out well. Jews everywhere. The Jews are coming. It was Yazidi people, really? Odd. You'd make a better marshal. Oh yeah, right, that isn't actually that isn't actually a thing. I'm retarded. They removed that uh plus one bonus for actually fulfilling that thing because it was easily abusable. Probably should just be a thing that only fires once or something, I don't know. Hmm. Oh well. Come on. 92%. Great. Can we just crush their army now? 95%. It's always waiting, isn't it? 97. Oh, hey, you actually spawned more dudes. That are actually going to try and fight me. I don't really care, they have no morale. Not a chance. Apparently all I had to do to get troops out of there was just to kill them. There. And now I grant them to you, Edessa. Congratulations. And unto you, I grant the Vice Royalty of Syria. Uh, transfer vassalage. I can't transfer non de jure vassals, apparently. That's strange. Should probably transfer the Patriarch of the East, all things considered. Out of curiosity, do I have the capacity to exhibit any influence over him? Like, is, it, is he my liege or whatever? Still apply? Very important question. <laughs> That is one of your revolts. I see. That accomplished a lot of things. Good job. For your accomplishments, I grant you the Vice Royalty of Jerusalem. There. So, I can't say give you Arabia, can I? Like, if I were to transfer vassalage, would Arabia even? I can transfer the Patriarch of the East, fine. Which is odd. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how that works. I love, like playing around with vice royalties. They're interesting. Ah, oh, what the hell. I don't really need, uh... Super control over the Patriarch of the East. I'm just fine without it. But yeah, hey, the realm's completer now. What's going on here? 
Lala host. And hey, I can finally invest in technology. Whilst I like this, uh, cavalry I think is the safer investment. Because I do use a lot of cavalry. Like, a lot. Plus it means camel riding grounds improvement. Holy War for Serencia, that's fine. You'll do well, I'm sure. You'll conquest his way up to Tunis, probably. Which is fine. Feudal vassal opinion, of course. Your population, as one, is converted to the Nestorian faith. Hey! That leaves, actually, most of uh, Egypt now. Just three provinces there. And Arabia conquered that. Eh, whatever. That's fine. I'm alright with that. <clears throat> Vice royalties are definitely going to make things interesting now that they can actually, you know, fight things. Since... Yeah, sure. It'll be interesting to say the least since they can fight things now. Which, before they obviously couldn't. Because they were all at chafing under this maximum crown authority. Now they aren't subject to it. They're subject to limited crown authority, which I'm worried because they can now attack each other as well. I'm worried to see how that goes. I'm considering granting a vice royalty here to just give uh, these four away. Keep that for myself. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Nah. I'll keep Mesopotamia for myself, I think. I don't really want them expanding and messing up my borders over here. That's for me to do. Uh, I have raised army levy somewhere. 126. That pissed somebody off, I'm sure. Alright, Tabaristan and Tabriz are now separate entities. Good news! We're taking Tabriz. Okay. Bad news, we're taking Tabriz. Oh, hosts and your infinite numbers of soldiers. So, thankfully, uh. I don't know piety that will arrive in on your back. Can I not? I have enough piety. Half of them are just unhirable for some reason. Maybe because you're leading troops and at war with somebody. Ah, yeah, you are. I see. Which is strange. I really wish it was easier to see, like... Um... How to put... Like, I really wish it was easier to see who the order, like, what the order of Santa Die was at war with or whatever. That would make things a lot easier in my eyes. Oh well. Nice hospitality, I suppose, can come join us. They have a pretty high monthly cost, though. I suppose I could just do the logical thing and actually raise my levies. Heaven forbid I do that, right? Alright. Levies of the Empire. Unite for the first time in many long years. I managed to mostly subsist on non levies, so. Uh, no. I'm pretty sure I haven't told you this before, but no. Aw, oh, look at that. The Zorastrians are ganging up trying to help. How cute. You know, looking around here, Tabriz, Tabaristan, Hamadan, Esafan, and Fars make a pretty nice border. I like it. Perhaps it should be expanded. Yeah. I like the idea. First thing, though, we have to deal with these guys. Who, as I expected, will be problematic. 
You stay right there. I'm coming for you. Can we get anybody better? Nope. We have the best we got. Hey yeah. Well, that went well. No, slaughtering 12,000 people. It does tend to go pretty well. <laughs> well, okay. Just, sure, just have another 6,000 there waiting for me, why don't you? Should probably just quick seed to this. There. Good. That way we just have something there for later. But yeah, alright, so we managed to take... Did they just vanish? Oh no, they ran away, okay. 14th of January. That's a bad place to follow. Also, is that a holy order or something? Why do the immortals exist? No, don't the immortals only exist if, um... The Seoshant reforms things? It's kind of odd, actually. It, the immortal should not exist. I'm pretty confident in saying that, anyway. Either way. Hmm. Hmm. I didn't realize the Rastrians could do that. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. I'm honestly surprised by that. It's not going to save him. I mean, I still have culture war on him, but still. You surprised the living hell out of me. Good job. Good job, sir. Like I said, it ain't saving you, though. Well, it actually kind of will, won't it? Because now it means he won't be instantly assimilated and everything. It's a wise move. No to self, never use holy wars. It's pretty much what I learned here. And besides, hey, now the uh, Zoroastrians can't join in. How did... I guess you're allied, so... Fair enough. Left to complain. It's like, what? The Zoroastrians cannot join in. He's not even Zoroastrian anymore. <laughs> well, you have a nice army there. It's too bad it's not enough. Hi. This is only going to hurt slightly. Lol. Ugh, though I don't really feel like re-raising the levies. And Armenia, in the meantime, is busy centralizing its power, rightfully so, I suppose, since it now owns the kingdom. It can do that. Guess what you don't get, though? Odessa! Suck on that. I mean, I'm paying out the ass for this. Ugh. Ah, well. It's time to end the episode anyway. Thank you everybody for watching. As always, this has been your lovely host, Calvin, signing off.